Question 16 from Section 1 of the 2019 National 5 Physics Examination. The temperature of a sample of gas in a container is 20 degrees Celsius. The volume of the gas is 0 0.30 meters cubed. The container is free to expand in order to maintain a constant pressure. The temperature of the gas is increased to 50 degrees Celsius. The volume now occupied by the gas is, and you're given your usual five choices. Now go straight away to re the relationship sheet, and you can see we've got a whole lot of pressure uh, equations here. But we're looking for one where pressure is not involved in it, because pressure is constant. The container is allowed to expand in order to maintain a constant pressure. So the only things that's changing are the temperature, the volume. So we look at equation, and there it is there. 4 down, V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2, and that's the equation we're going to use. But we must remember some other important fact, and that is we have to change degrees Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273. These equations only work if the temperature is in Kelvin. So right away, I want to change the temperatures into Kelvin. So T1, we know, is initial temperature, and it's 20 degrees Celsius. So that really is going to equal then 20 plus 273 Kelvin. And that comes out to be 293 Kelvin. So we know our first temperature. The second temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius. So in terms of Kelvin, that will be 273 plus 50 K. And that's going to be equal to 323 Kelvin. So we have T1 and T2 now. Now let's look at the equation itself. We have V1 over T1 in Kelvin should equal to V2 over T2 in Kelvin. So V1, the first volume, is 0 0.30. So we can mark that down. Divided by the first temperature, which is 293. That's the big difference. And that's going to go to the second volume, which we're after, divided by 3, 2, 3 Kelvin. That's the second temperature. Now, all we have to do is cross-multiply. So if we cross-multiply, we get 293, I'll do this up here, 293 times V2. And that's going to equal to 323 times 0 0.30. So to find V2... We just bracket the top over here, 323 times 0 0.30, and divide that by 293. And if we do that in a calculator, we get an answer of 0 0.33 metres cubed of gas. So we're going to have an answer of 16D. Question 17 from Section 1 of the 2019 National 5 Physics Examination. The following diagram gives information about a wave. And you can see the shape of the wave as shown. Which row in the table shows the amplitude and the wavelength of the wave? Well, let's start off by putting in what we call the centre line of the wave. And that goes right through like that. Now, the amplitude of the wave is from the centre line up into the peak. So you can see from the diagram there that we're going to have uh, an amplitude of 3 metres. That's half of 6 metres there. So that amplitude must be 3 metres. So we have a possibility of either this one or this one. Now let's go and see what we mean by the wavelength of the waves. We know we've got a big stretch lasting 24 metres. But a wavelength that we start at this point consists of a complete up and a complete down. So that would be one wavelength there. You can see there's another complete up and complete down. So that's two wavelengths. And finally, there's another complete up and a complete down, which gives us three full wavelengths. So in this particular wave train, we have got three wavelengths. I'm going to write it like this. Three wavelengths is going to equal 24 metres. So one wavelength is going to go to 24 metres divided by three. And that's going to give us a value of a wavelength of 8 metres. So it looks like B will be the correct answer. Amplitude, 3 metres. And wavelength, 8 metres. Answer, B. Question 18 from Section 1 of the 2019 National 5 Physics Examination. 
A student is studying waves with a period of 80.0 milliseconds and a wavelength of 4.00 metres. The frequency of these waves is, and we're given our usual five choices. Now let's go to the relationship sheets and you can see we have got three equations involving frequency but we just need to look at the third one there that is the period T, capital T, equals 1 divided by the frequency because if we know the period of the waves we can rearrange that equation and find the frequency so let's rearrange the equation capital T is equal to 1 divided by the frequency and therefore the frequency it's just simply equal to 1 divided by the period t. But be careful, because the period t is written as 80.0 milliseconds. So we have to change that into seconds. A millisecond will be just simply 80.0 times 10 to the minus 3 of a second. So therefore the frequency is going to be equal to 1 divided by 80 times 10 to the minus 3 of a second and that's going to be equal to on your calculator 12.5 and the units for frequency is the hertz hz so the answer to that question has got to be 18c mm -hmm.